Good morning, everyone. My name is Wen Boding. I'm from Clemson University. I'm going to present our recent work, IoT Safe, Enforcing Safety and Security Policy with Real IoT Physical Interaction Discovery. This is a collaboration work with Professor Hong Xin Hu from University at Buffalo and Professor Long Chen from Clemson. The smart home plays a very important role in IoT domain. The market size is huge and growing fast. And there are already multiple platforms provided by big companies. Here is a typical smart home environment. As you can see, there are many smart devices like Wi-Fi board, thermal state, connected window. All devices connect to a centralized hub. Those smart devices can communicate through the hub using traditional wireless network, such as Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. We call this interaction a cyber interaction. However, they can also interact with each other through a physical environment. For example, an opening window can change the illumination in the room and affect the smart bulb. If the window is opened, the temperature may also be affected and then trigger the thermal state. We call this kind of interactions as physical interaction. The physical interactions of smart home devices are necessary and they could bring significant convenience to users. However, these physical interactions could also be exploited by attackers. Hence, we need to enable safety and security policy enforcement for smart home platform. Many research efforts have revealed that cyberspace interactions and physical interactions can lead to unsafe and insecure states. Hence, some policy enforcement systems have been proposed. However, current systems are not ideal and cannot capture real physical interactions between devices. This can lead to false or misenforcement of safety and security policies. Suppose we have two binar apps and a safety policy. The window control app opens a window in a room when its temperature exceeds 85 degrees. The home mode control app sets a home mode state when indoor movement is detected. The attacker tries to use a compromised heater to increase the temperature, then trigger the window opening action. To prevent this attack, the user set up a safety policy. Do not open the window when no one is at home. So if the attacker turns on a heater, the window control app cannot open the window even the temperature is higher than 85 degrees. However, without knowing all real physical interactions, this policy enforcement can be bypassed by attackers. For example, the attacker can use a cleaner robot to trigger a motion sensor and then change a home model to stay. Hence, the opening window action can be allowed. However, such a physical interaction cannot be identified by static analysis. The current policy enforcement system also ignores continuous effect of physical interactions, which may lead to missed or delayed enforcement. For example, in an infant room, a heater control app turns on a heater when the temperature is below 70 degrees. Suppose the user sets a safety policy, turning off the heater when the temperature exceeds 85 degrees to prevent a dangerously high temperature situation. However, even after turning off the heater, it can still keep heating for a while and the high temperature situation will continue. Besides, the low reporting rate of current smart home sensors makes such situations even worse. These two factors can lead to missed or delayed policy enforcement. Therefore, it's crucial to identify real physical interactions to correctly enforce the safety and the security policies in smart home environment. To identify real physical interactions, we need to address four challenges. First is identifying the special context of devices, which refers to the location information of device. For example, if the sensor and the heater are not in the same room, the sensor is unlikely to detect the temperature change caused by the heater. Second is that some physical interactions among devices may happen immediately, while others may happen slowly. Turning on a light can change the luminance immediately. However, turning on the thermal state cannot change the temperature that quickly. 
The implicit effect many represent a device have multiple unexpected physical impacts. For example, the AC heating not only increases the temperature, but also implicitly reduces the relative humidity. Jointing effect means there are multiple devices working at the same time. For example, when three devices heat at the same time, the temperature can increase more rapidly. To address above challenges, we propose our system IoT Safe. IoT Safe includes three major components real physical interaction discovery, runtime prediction, policy specification, and enforcement. The first step is app analysis, which extracts control flows from apps, then they can be used for testing case generation. This step has been done by many researchers already. After user apps are deployed, our system collects user settings and configurations. Our system uses them to generate testing cases. Based on the generated testing cases, our system identifies real physical interactions by performing dynamic testings. Based on testing data, IoT Safe initializes devices' physical models and then generates a directed interaction graph for all devices. This module also updates physical models during runtime. For runtime policy enforcement, IoT Safe first requires users to set up their policies through a policy management app. Users can use given templates or write their own policies. For runtime enforcement, the system monitors runtime events from devices, then calculates future status based on physical models. A violation detection is based on comparing current or predicted situations with user-defined policies. If a violation is about to happen, the policy enforcement component takes actions to relieve from the risky situations. The first major component of our system is real physical interaction discovery, and it has two subcomponents: testing case generation and dynamic testing. The test case generation collects apps control flow, device room information, device possible commands, and the user's safety restrictions to generate testable cases. For example, in room A, it can generate two test cases for the window and the heater. But for room B, because of safety restrictions to the sprinkler, hence it only generates one stove case. After case generation, we need to test these cases to identify real physical interactions. The dynamic testing has three steps. The first is sequential testing. Its main purpose is to test all non-parallelizable cases in a proper order. We can reduce testing overhead by choosing the proper testing sequence. Another optimization is to reduce the conflicting influence between adjacent testing cases. For example, we try to put heating cases together and then cooling cases following. To further reduce testing overhead, IoT Safe also parallelizes testing cases that can interact with different physical channels in the same room. For example, cases above and air conditions can be tested at the same time. The multi room parallel testing can reduce overhead by testing different rooms' cases at the same time. Since we have devices can affect multiple rooms, so the whole process starts from sequential testing of cross room devices, which are shown as pink arrows. Then the system starts parallel testing in each room, which are shown as yellow arrows. After dynamic testing, we need to use testing data to build physical models for runtime prediction. We need runtime prediction because the continuous effect of temporary interactions and the low reporting rate of sensors. Hence, we propose the runtime prediction components. By collecting all sensor readings and templates during the dynamic testings, we calculate parameters in each device physical models. The physical model is mainly temperature or humidity related, and they are proposed by existing work. During runtime, the monitor app sends data to the collector, and then the system can predict the future status. To properly enforce safety policies, we define our policy languages to enable policy enforcement for both cyber and physical interactions. 
For cyber or instant physical interactions, the policy is similar to safety policies in existing work. The temporary interaction policy provides additional actions. The system needs to enforce these policies when potential violations are predicted but not yet happen. Our system can also have the user correct their policies by giving hints about potentially related devices. For example, if it detects other related devices, it can ask users whether adding other related devices to the policy. For policy language definition, please see the paper for details. Here we show examples of two policies. The difference here is that the temporary interaction policy requires system calculating future temperature status and then implementing these two actions in advance. For evaluation, we have implemented a proof of concept system based on the SmartSync platform. We set up the policy enforcement server on Google Cloud. We studied a total of 45 official SmartSync apps and selected 21 representative apps. The app's configurations are coming from two existing works and also adapted based on our experience. We deployed 23 different types of IoT devices and a total number of 33 devices in seven testing groups. Here we show the result of our physical interaction discovery from seven test beds. Potential interactions are interactions identified by app analysis, and the real interactions are interactions captured by dynamic testing. The amount of false positive result increases quickly as the device amount increases because the static analysis does not consider a special context and thus introduce many false physical interactions. The false negative results are interactions identified by dynamic testing but ignored by the static analysis. It mainly includes implicit interactions. We further detail the implicit and unreal interactions identified by dynamic testing. For example, the electrical kettle can trigger the motion sensor. A coffee machine can interact with the humidity sensors. The stove can have an impact on the temperature sensor. Most devices that change the temperature will also change the humidity because the humidity is connected to the temperature. We also evaluated the accuracy of runtime prediction, where the lead time is defined as the forecast time in advance, usually equal to the sensor report interval. We evaluated the temperature and humidity models based on different prediction lead time. The error increases with the prediction lead time, especially for the humidity channel. This is because the humidity changes more rapidly than the temperature, making it hard to predict. However, the average error is still pretty small. We further examine the runtime prediction part. For temporal interactions, IoT Safe achieves 93 accuracy for predicting temperature related risky situations based on testing group one. As shown in the figure, we set 80 degrees as a threshold. Based on the runtime prediction result, the system could predict and prevent high temperature situation. For more complicated environments, we define 12 kinds of risky situations for different physical channels, such as illuminance, humidity, motion, and temperature and the system predicted 53 risky situations in the most complicated testing group 4. We then examined the effectiveness of IoT Safe in enforcing safety policies by running a malicious attack scenario. The system first detects the interaction between the robot and the motion sensor by dynamic testing. Then our system gave hints to the user to set additional trigger conditions for existing policies. For example, if the user sets an additional condition as do not change the home mode to stay when the robot is working, the home mode control app will block when attacker triggers the cleaner robot. Hence, the attacker cannot open the window anymore. Here is a comparison with recent related work. Our system can provide the real physical interaction discovery and the fine grain runtime policy enforcement. Let me conclude our work. We have designed IoT Safe to conduct real physical interaction discovery and enable policy enforcement on smart home platform. We applied our system to the smart scene platform and evaluated its effectiveness. In the future, we will try to use other modeling methods and consider human interactions and cross-platform access control in our system. 
Thank you so much, and I'm happy to take any questions.